Welcome back to Learn C++ Game Development Lesson 2. In this video, we're going to learn how to handle mouse events and how to get the X and Y position of the mouse on the screen. So this is a code from the last video, where we moved the logic part into the logic part of the game loop. And now that we know this, we can use it to create some mouse events. So for the mouse event, I'm going to create a new variable named bool button mouse left because I'm going to be using the left mouse click and set it to false. In the events part, I'm going to put it as the last event. The event type for a mouse event is event. So event type is equal to SDL mouse button down or mouse button up. We're going to do a mouse button down event and to check which button on the mouse was pressed we use the event dot button dot button and compare it to SDL button left or button right. And as I said, we're going to use the left mouse button. So SDL button left. So this is the event for clicking down the left mouse button. And if that happens, we set the button mouse left to true. And what I want to make is a counter. So every time we click the left mouse button, the counter goes up by one and we output that to the console. So we're going to need another variable which I'm going to reserve right under the button variables and it's going to be an int type because it's a number and let's call it clicks and we set it to zero. Now we go to the logic part and write all the logic we need. So the logic goes like this. So if the button was pressed, so if button mouse left is equal to true, that means that it has been clicked, we do the following. First, we increase the number of clicks by one. We can do that by setting clicks is equal to clicks plus one. We can do or we can do clicks is plus equal to 1 or we can do clicks plus plus so those are three different ways on how to increase a variable by 1 I'm just going to use this one because it's the shortest one but I'm going to leave these two up here in the comments so you can see. So first we increase the number of clicks by one then we want to output the console and for that we do count first we put in a string let's name it number of mouse clicks and now that we're going to put a variable into the output we add two I call those left signs and the name of the variable clicks and then we just add a new line to the end so another two left signs and a new line sign and we, at the end we have to set button mouse left to false so that this statement isn't true the next frame when we get to the logic part again so if you run this and if you click the left mouse button as you can see the number increases and output to the screen now let's output the X and Y position of the mouse 
I haven't talked about the screen yet because we're going to do that in the next lesson where we're going to do rendering but basically the screen is a coordinate system where the top left point is position 0 0 and X increases from left to right and Y increases from top to bottom so the top left corner is posi position 0 0 and the bottom right corner is 640 so that's the maximum X and 480 that's the maximum Y so if, if you want to output the coordinates of the mouse we have to first reserve two variables in which we're going to store the position and then we can output those we're going to store these two variables in the if statement because we only need them here so after the clicks after we increase the clicks by one, let's create two int variables. Let's name it int x and y. We can do that in the same statement. And now we have to call a function, and the function name is sdl get mouse state. And that function takes two parameters. It takes two integers as addresses they have to be type in and to put in as an address we make an and sign and then the name of the variable so and x and and y similar to what we did when checking if there is an event in the event object so what this function is going to do it's going to write the x and y variable into this, the, I mean the x and y numbers into the x and y variables and we can then simply output that so I'm going to raise the new line add our comma and then add the coordinates r and let's put in another variable x another string so let's add a space and then another variable y and we add at the end a new line that's a quite long output so first there's a string a text then there's a variable named clicks for the number of clicks then we add a comma and another text the coordinates are the x co co variable a space the y variable and a new line now if we run this and click we see the x and y variable so if I press at the upper left corner the variables are small if I press in the upper right corner the x variable is very high but the y variable is still low and if I pre press in the bottom right corner both variables are close to the maximum and that's all for mouse events you now know how to check for mouse events and how to get the x and y position of the mouse now I recommend that you check the exercises and try to do them all the first exercise is the easiest one and the last one is the hardest one. I'll also put up a video where I solve those exercises but I really recommend that you take your time and try to solve them on your own. Thanks for listening.